So first thing we're going to do is find a photo. I'm on Pixabay and I think I'll do this one. So I'm going to go ahead and download it. And that's fine. Then next I'm going to open it. In my case I'm using Pixelmator Pro but you can use whatever you want to use. You know, there's a gazillion different photo editors. So I just take like a black and white effect. Maybe this smoky will be a little better. And then I also like to use the um, blur effect, which is, and then I adjust it a little. And I want to lighten it a bit. So let's adjust. Go to the brightness. Here we go. The brightness. You just kind of have to play around until you get what you like. Just kind of overexposing it. Okay, so now I'm in Doodly and I'm going to create a new video. And I'm going to choose custom and I'm going to choose the custom image and I'm going to browse for it and I'm going to pick my black and white one because this is going to be the background and then you have to do this resizing business kind of awkward but it works just takes a little fiddling come on There we go. Give it a name. Sunflower. The reason I'm doing this as the background image you can do, um, you don't have to do it as a background image, but I was planning anytime you add a scene, you could always have it. So like if you wanted to add text to it or whatnot, I'm going to delete that. Okay, so now I'm going to props. I'm going to add and I'm going to drag over my colored sunflower. And I'm just going to give it a name. We'll just call it sunflower. Okay, so there's that. So next we want to try and align it, and it, this part is a real pain. because you're flying blind. My doodly is not cooperating today. Probably need to reboot my computer, but Okay, so now I can compare the two images here because I created another scene without it. So I can tell I'm off. This is too big. And I can tell that based on the, the lines too. Now I'm going to drop it down. Click. All right, those look pretty good for now fairly well lined up. All right, I'm going to go ahead and save this and close um, and reopen just to see because I'm getting all this stuff. My, it's not refreshing properly. All right, so boom, boom, boom. Now let's open that. All right, so that's better. Okay, I can see I need to move it over just a touch. Let's compare that. Okay, so that looks pretty good. So now we need to start doing the drawing. So you're going to click on your image and you click on this pen. And we're just going to start doing the draw path. So we're going to start with the first one. Maybe we'll start here.
This doesn't have to be perfect. We're just going for an illusion here. Okay, so we're going to do a new one. 